All right, this is Greg Vincent. I'm at the Ag Media Summit in uh, St. Paul, Minnesota today, and I'm talking to Evan Davenport, a very impressive young man who is going to talk about his science project here and maybe doing a few things that a lot of kids your age aren't doing. How old are you, Evan? Thirteen. Thirteen years old. Seventh grade? Uh, going into eighth grade. Going into eighth grade. All right. So uh, you're, uh, you are you did an interesting uh, research project here with yeah. your uh, with soybeans this year, Evan. Why don't you tell uh, the Ag Web crowd here what you what you did? Well, what I did was I uh, started off and I thought about what I was going to do for the project. At first, for the project, I was going to do something with corn, and then my dad talked me out of it and said that soybeans and inoculating soybeans would be much easier. Why'd you want to do corn? Uh, I just see my dad out there and stuff, and he's always adding different nitrogen and starter fertilizers to the corn, and I thought that might be interesting to do. Okay, so you, you ended up with soybeans, though, and uh, tell us what you looked at here. Well, I looked at uh, how the inoculated inoculant affected the soybeans and uh, how different soils would affect the soybeans too. There's three most common soils. The most common one that you plant the soybean is is after the corn crop. And uh, after planting the soybeans in that, I had, to, had a total of eight inoculated and eight uninoculated. And out of the ones I planted, I had five out of eight inoculated um, emerge and only three out of the eight uninoculated emerged. Out of that would be after the corn crop was planted. And then another one you would see is after a bean crop, um, soybeans planted. And so out of that, I had five out of eight inoculated planted and only four out of the eight uninoculated planted. So what, what the, the emergence there, but you talked about some interesting things you saw with the differences in the root system and the, the plants overall. What were the big differences you saw? Well, the most difference I could see in the root systems of these was the inoculated had much more fibrous root systems than the non-inoculated. Um, one of the plants of the inoculated did have a nodule on it, um, but due, because of this, I had an all-purpose grow light from Lowe's, and uh, by the time I had the project do uh, I should have had three or four sets of trifoliates and I was only getting the buds. And so that affected this project greatly. But to, even due to this, you could still see the differences. I was able to take a high-powered magnifying glass to look at the root sy systems and you could see much more starts of the inoculated root systems of nodules than the non-inoculated. There are very few, if any, on the non-inoculated. Mm -hmm. um, and then uh, also from this project, inoculate also helped put nitrogen back into the soil for the corn crop the following year. So you don't need to, farmers don't need to add as much nitrogen back into the soil. And so it actually pays for itself in no time for farmers to put the inoculant on their soybeans. You also can get one to two more bushels per acre for the soybeans. Okay, so why'd you, why did you pick this project? or looking at an ag project instead of doing something you might see with other science projects that kids do? I knew it'd be something different that hadn't been done before. Uh, I grew up on a farm and so I just figured I wanted to do something with the crops and see what it affect the crops for better bushels and stuff for my dad. Alright, and you kind of become uh, sort of a celebrity in your own right in Indiana anyway, right, with uh, some of the awards you've gotten. Why don't you tell us about some of the awards you've received with this? Well, I, at the school I ended up going on to the Notre Dame Science Fair in northern Indiana. And at there I got a uh, Purdue University Agriculture Award. I had a, a $50 award from Indiana University Biology Department. And then I ended up getting a $10,000 scholarship to Bethel University. Already? You ready to go to college? No. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, but, uh, Bethel College, maybe that's not where you're going to go to school. Where do you want to go to school? Uh, I would like to go down to Purdue University in Lafayette, Indiana. All right, that's Evan Davenport, a 7th grade student, all, coming into 8th grade student from uh, Plymouth, Indiana. Thanks, Evan.